Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. I have a Candles from the Keeping Room haul to share with you. This is not my first order. This is my third, but I was not filming wax videos um, for my other orders, so I did not haul those on here. So anyways, um, I wanted to order from her last opening, but I don't know why. I completely forgot that she even had an opening that last time, so I missed out on that, but this time... I, uh, I was able to get in and get what I wanted. Now, um, Candace from the Keeping Room has been around a long time, and she's very popular. The owner's name is Carol Wollstonecroft, I believe. Um, but she's it's a very popular vendor, so she literally only opens and takes like 200 orders, um, and then that's it. So it's like a Hunger Games style opening, basically, but... Personally, I have never had anything jump out of my car or miss out on anything. Or I'm sorry, it doesn't jump out of your car because you do have a card hold. But I have never had anything... Um, sorry, that was bothering me. It wasn't in the middle. Um, <laughs> I haven't had anything that I couldn't get. So, I don't know. I, that's just me, though. Normally, um, what I do is I, I make a list ahead of time um, for, by category. So, I know exactly which category to go to and then I will google candles from the keeping room not cert not open the page but just google it and be ready to click on it as soon as um or I also turn on notifications for her group page on Facebook so I know whenever um she'll post it'll say she posted in the group and I automatically just know it's to tell everyone it's open so I'll just click on the the um the whatever the search that comes up for Google is it's always her page the first one so I just click on that and go from there because she does not allow you to be on her actual uh, page ahead of time so I just do it that way so I have it pulled up on Google and ready to click it just makes it easier for me I don't know that's what I've always done for the last three times and I've not missed out on anything so anyways enough rambling um yeah, so she does a refund shipping overages. So I did get a refund this time around for over, it was like almost two dollars. But when I looked, um, I had like a six dollar or something like that refund, and I was like, oh well, why? So then she had sent me another email saying that one of the items I ordered, um, I guess it oversold. I don't really know how that works, but it was pink frosted cake or something like that um, had oversold, and she refunded me for the bag. But she was so nice that she she said that she was going to refund me for the bag that oversold, but she was going to throw in a bag of birthday cake anyways, and I didn't have to pay for it. So that was so generous, and I appreciate that. So that was just so nice. So anyways, um, she sends this bag here. So cute. She draws on it, and it's full of samples. So I'm just going to dump these out. Um, the first two times I think that I ordered I did not know that you could request sample request samples sorry so this time I took advantage of that and I got so many I'm looking at them now oh my gosh I'm so excited okay so I don't have scent descriptions for any of these so we're just gonna go off of what they smell like so this first sample here is in this cute little cake and it is raspberry lemonade sweet cake I did request this one I believe mm, that's nice you can pick up the lemonade but it's not overpowering you do get the you do get the cake and the raspberry so that's really good next is raspberry jam basic it's a scent nothing really fancy about this one. Ooh, I love this scent mmm I really have found that raspberry jam is uh I've had it from this is my second vendor to sniff raspberry jam from and I really enjoy it so sorry for the lighting because it's raining like really gloomy out today and this is the best I could do so this is a little pack of little raspberries how cute in blue raspberry cake pops I did request this one too I also I think I requested the raspberry jam also these are adorable Ooh, that's really good it's cakey but also sweet fruity so that's I did not know what to expect because I've not smelled blue raspberry before but this is really good this is a really big part like I will have to cut this in half so this one is mahogany coconut I believe I maybe I requested oh no I didn't request one of these I see it already <laughs> two of them I got the, the ones that two of the ones that I did get I did not request 
Oh my gosh, I need to order this. If I can get my hands on um, a bag of this, this is amazing. It's so good. The coconut isn't like a creamy coconut. It's like a, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it because um, I'm trying to think what scent is that. Have you ever smelled coconut lime verbena? It does not smell like this. Um, I'm just trying to say it. I think it's the same type of coconut in there. I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't, it doesn't smell creamy to me. I don't know. This smells like really, just really good. It's super strong too. The mahogany, you can definitely pick up on. If you've ever smelled mahogany, um, I don't know what it is. Uh, whatever the mahogany candle is from Bath and Body Works, that you can pick up on that mahogany really well. But the coconut in there, I, I want to say it's like a, maybe a toasted coconut. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to be cutting this in half because it's huge. Next is a cute little sun and fruits and melons and berries. Sounds good. Ooh, that's nice. Very fruity, very melon. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm definitely picking up the melon the strongest, so that's nice. Buttercream sprinkles. I did not request this one, so this one was a random one. And I think I just got this scent from Sassy Girl Roma, so we shall see if it smells similar. I would say this one smells more like what I expected it to smell like. Because the one from Sassy Girl Roma definitely had a banana undertone to me. And I don't under, I don't really know why, but that one did. But this one smells like basically just like a cake scent. This is another one I did not request because I'm not a big zucchini fan. But you know what? It came in a sample and I'll try it. Maybe I'll like it. So it's very good zucchini bread. It's very sweet. Very, very. I was, I'm honestly surprised. It's not as bad as on cold sniff as I was expecting. I don't really pick up on the zucchini bread right off the top. There is a note, a bakery note in this, but I, I, did, I don't know. It's not normally the zucchini that I've smelled before has a distinct smell, and I do not pick that up in here. And the last sample is Bombshell Cocktail. I don't really remember what the scent notes for this one was, but I did request this one. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's like, I want to say there might be peach in this because I'm picking up on some peachy type scent. But it's super sweet and strong. Kind of, I don't know if it's perfumey or what. It's It's got something in it, but I just got to show you. These are always my favorite, the ones with the sprinkles on them. So this one smells really good. I would order this one in a bag too. So those are my samples. Carol is so generous when she sends her samples. So we, I'm sure everyone, I can, I'm sure everyone will agree that we all appreciate that. So let's unwrap these bags. I'm just gonna unwrap them all. I probably should have done this beforehand, but you know what? That's okay. I just wanted everyone to see how it looks. All right. Let's get started. So this one here is Cotton Candy Party Cake. Basically, Cotton Candy Birthday, maybe? I can't really remember if it had anything specific in it, but... Ah, sorry. Okay. If it's crinkling very loud, I apologize. Mmm. That's really good. This is what it looks like. Just like a nice... It looks like you just cut a small piece of cake. I like that a lot. Mm, that's good. And I've not tried. All of my other candles from the Keeping Room orders have been, like, fresh since. I've not ordered any bakery from her before, so this is my first time trying her bakery. This next one here is Strawberry White Cake. I was kind of eyeing all the strawberry blends, so I've got quite a few. Well, not I didn't get a whole lot, but... Most of my stuff was strawberry. Mmm, that's good. And this is the little piece. It's just a different shade of pink. It smells really good. I like that a lot. Next is the infamous fresh picked strawberry. I had to try this. Everyone raves about her fresh picked strawberry, and it I think she always restocks the majority of the time. She restocks that one, like, in a larger quantity. Mmm, it smells so good. 
and I have to share, share with you guys. It literally smells like a strawberry. But a sweetness added to it. How cool is this detail? Yeah, I just want to take a bite. It's so cool. Alright. Oh, that smells so good. I don't know if I should, if I would melt. Oh, that, they're kind of large, so I don't know if I'd melt a whole one or if I should cut it, but. Alright, and this is birthday cake. This is the one that I did not order, but since she was so kind enough to include it for free, I am grateful. This, I might, what I might do is cut all of these in half and use them as blenders, because I don't, I would probably rather blend birthday cake with stuff than melt it all alone. Mmm, that's really good. It's, it's, it's like a buttery birthday cake. Mm. So I'm really glad. I'm happy that she sent me that. That's just so generous. She's just so nice. She's. I did not expect that because most vendors, if something oversold or whatever, they would just refund you. But she was so nice to just throw that in there for free and give me a refund. So I was just really surprised. And this last one here is strawberry filled birthday cake. I told you I was on a strawberry kick. So. That's really good. It's. I feel like this one, this one is definitely more strawberry than the strawberry white cake. This is a little piece. These all seem to look, um, not the same, but the same shape is what I meant. They're all the same shape except for the strawberry. Mmm, that's just so good. So, that is my small candles from the keeping room, um, order. Like I said before, um, she has Hunger Games style openings, so if you would like to get in on this vendor, then uh, I would suggest that you join her Facebook group and pay attention to when the next opening is, because when everything's ready on the site, you can go on there and look and make your list and whatnot. And what I meant to say earlier was that all of this was like, these were, sorry, I have like hiccups over and over again. Um, I don't remember, I don't know how much they weigh, but they're only like $5.00. And 50 cents I think for each bag so that's not a bad price at all so um, yeah check her out on her Facebook page because you really will not be disappointed with this vendor um, I've only made you know this is my third order but I do enjoy her wax so yeah so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching